Christmas, I guess for most people, changes as the years go by and it starts to hold different meanings. As a child, for me, Christmas was quite a mixture. We were quite a poor family, so there wasn't a lot in the way of festivities. My parents always managed to find us things to unwrap on Christmas morning, and there was always a huge excitement. And I can always remember waking up quite often in the middle of the night and looking at the end of the bed just to see if there were any shapes that resembled the fact that um, Santa had been to see us during the night. As the years went on, I started to hear Bible stories about Christmas and take part in nativity plays. And I used to love that. I loved the Bible stories. I was fascinated by the story of Jesus being born in this stable. And I could, again, I can remember being awake in the middle of the night and thinking about Santa and listening for sleigh bells and things like that. But also thinking about the Christmas story and just thinking of Mary and Joseph in this stable, the angels, kings coming, shepherds coming, stars and all of that sort of stuff. And just lying there and thinking about this story in the dark and just wondering about that and how it would have been. But when I sort of became a, a Christian, um, obviously the Christmas story took on a huge meaning um, because it is the time when we think about the coming of God into this world. As nice as the tinsel is and the trees and all the commercial stuff that we sort of come across day by day from sort of September onwards, I think the Christmas story is, is just amazing and the thought that just God himself came into this world as a human being, as a baby. And one of my favourite Christmas, Christmas readings um, is from Isaiah. I think it's chapter 9. That, that passage talks about him being um, a wonderful, fa a great father, a wonderful God, almighty God, a counsellor. We hear a lot about counsellors these days. People are encouraged to visit counsellors at all sorts of times in their lives but they're human counsellors. And this counsellor is our God, who is the best counsellor we can ever have. The Prince of Peace. We need so much peace in our lives from time to time. And God brings a peace that no one else can bring. I think for me in my life, God has been from time to time all of these things. And I can honestly say that without God, I'm not sure really where I would be now because he has seen me through some quite difficult times in my life and so for me Christmas is a very very special time and I just long sometimes that people could see beyond the commercialism to see just what a precious thing happened 2,000 years ago and it's a time of waiting too because he have, we have this promise that he will return and so through all the darkness that this world brings and all the problems and the issues that go on from day to day, I just look forward to the time that I know he will return. I may not be on this earth then, but he will return. And the that promise that the, the throne of David will be inhabited by Jesus forever. And that will happen and it will come one day. So really, that's that's what Christmas means for me.